3D printing has been around for almost 25 years now. But for a long time it was used for engineers and by engineers for prototyping new products that they would then mass produce. What we did in 2007 is we realized basically that hey, why don't we use this amazing technology to give anyone access to manufacturing? Why don't we use this technology, these 3D printers, to make actual final products? The 3D printing, it's a rapid prototyping technology. The same way that you might carve something out of wax or make a little sculpture, glue a bunch of matchsticks together and make a castle, is the same way now you might sit down at your computer and use a, a CAD program like Rhino or Armea to sculpt something and then print it out. So for me, 3D printing was a way to bring together art and science. Like I was able to express the artistic thing that I could see in my head, but use really precise techniques and, and technology to realize that. You know, if you understand 3D printing to mean the deposition and or fusing of material by layer, it really opens up what you could consider 3D printing to be. I think the most interesting advancements in terms of where 3D printing is and is going have to do with dimensionality and materials. So both at the small scale of, the di of dimensions and the large scale. Like people are getting parts scanned in their body to get custom uh, implants made uh, for like if they're having heart troubles and things like that. Um, or at the very, very big scale, like the, the large gantry mounted kind of building scale applications, I think those are really interesting. And then shifting out of um, plastics into things like ceramics, um, like other biological materials that people are looking at printing in, really that opens up what 3D printing is and what its applications can be in a like, kind of exponential rate in terms of where it would go and what you would do with it. It's a good time for experimentation. It's a good time to think about how something that's as old as the clothing industry could be redefined with new technologies. We use digital fabrication technologies and software techniques to invent what fashion design means for a digital age. Artists are always the early adopters. We essentially want to be the first fashion label that's software. We started working with um, 3D printing because we liked this idea of like, could we make clothing without sewing? Having one machine that can make really impossible shapes is, is a huge benefit. So this is a 3D printed bikini. So designing the bikini was really about designing this generative textile, like designing a way for 3D printed to be almost like fabric um, and be flexible and fit to the body. And so how this is done is um, after we model this 3D shape, it actually fills the surface that you want with this geometry that creates this fabric-like structure. It packs the circles closer and smaller at the edges and then towards the middle sections you have bigger circles. And this is nice because it actually like looks interesting for a bikini and it's aesthetic as well as functional. Um, so we've done some work with 3D printing. We felt that people really understood shoes. So our goal is to actually have like a dedicated shoe printer in a store and then people could like print their shoes. Or you could even have like basically a printer you would buy just to be able to make yourself as many shoes as you want. Inspiration, I think, is one of the things that most people need to really get started, especially with new technology. So now what we've therefore created, our creators and, co and our co-creation platform, is where you can adapt in a very fun and easy way existing designs. So Shapeways, we built the basic platform to enable people to upload and print the designs they care for. You can share it with your friends. You can even open a shop and you can start selling your new invention, your new creative idea, to a worldwide audience. Like the one thing that's really interesting about this technology is that it's more accessible. Because it's more accessible, it's not only the hardware is more accessible, it's also the language that it's coding, uh, been coded in is more accessible. Also, the learning resources that you need to be able to do it yourself is also more accessible. Right, so now all of a sudden, um, the, 
big walls that existed before in terms of who had the privilege of being able to create what and largely dictate how people used it are gone. But again, I mean, I think it just goes down to the fact that, you know, information is everywhere now. Everyone has access to it. And it's very easy to do whatever you want with it. The technology that exists today, um, it also shapes um, the way that you think about what the possibilities of tomorrow might be. Um, you know, so if you have a great idea, um, that idea might not be ready um, to come into the world yet until there's a mechanism put in place, right, that makes that idea now realizable. People are comparing the 3D printing revolution to the revolution that happened with personal computing. I don't necessarily think there'll be a 3D printer in every home, but I think there'll be a 3D printed product in every home. There'll be an application for it for everyone.